Hi everyone and welcome to my Year 4 National Curriculum Maths channel. Today we are going to name the triangle. So you can see in slide number one we have lots of triangle shapes that you will find in everyday life including pizza, pepperoni pizza, sandwiches, cheese, watermelon. So these types of triangles will all be familiar to you. What we're going to do today is learn the names of the different types of triangle. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It will help me grow the channel and I will make more maths videos for you. Okay, so we're on our first slide about triangles. And our first type of triangle is a right angle triangle. And what that means is that it will have one 90 degree angle. So a 90 degree angle is what you'd find in, in the corner of a square or a rectangle. So a square and a rectangle, they have four um, 90 degree right angles. A right angle triangle was, would have one 90 degree angle. And on this slide, I have circled the right angles. So take a look at the corners of each triangle where there's a circle and that's your 90 degree angle. The corner of the triangle is called a vertex. And in this case, each one is 90 degrees. Secondly, we have an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle will always have two equal angles. And again, on this slide, we have three isosceles triangles and the two angles that, have, um, that are equal, I have circled. So just to remember, an isosceles triangle has two equal angles. An equilateral triangle has three equal angles and each one will always be 60 degrees. So there won't be any deviation from that. An equilateral, tr equilateral triangle will have three equal angles and each one will always be 60 degrees. So in this triangle here on the left-hand side, I've circled each vertex because each one is the same size and that identifies the triangle as an equilateral triangle. A scalene triangle has no equal angles. So what that means is that each angle is a different size. So you will never get a scalene triangle that has angles of equal size. They will always be different. The interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So you can see on our picture here of an equilateral triangle, each one is 60 degrees. So you, you will always have a three-sided shape. A triangle has got three sides. And if you add up all three angles, they will always equal 180 degrees. In this case, we're using the example of an equilateral triangle. So each vertex will be 60 degrees. Okay, lots of fantastic triangles. Now what we're going to do is try some questions together and we will work out the answers together. Question number one. Two of the angles in a triangle are 50 degrees and 80 degrees. What type of triangle is it? So as I said earlier, each of the angles will add up to 180 degrees. We know that one angle is 50 and one angle is 80 degrees. So what we need to do is work out the size of the third angle. So we know that 50 plus 80 is 130. So 180 degrees minus 130 is 50. So now we know the size of each angle. We have one angle at 50 degrees, one at 80 degrees, and another one at 50 degrees. So as you can see, we have two angles that are the same size, which are, uh, which are 50 degrees each. Now that would mean that this is an isosceles triangle because it has two equal angles. 
Okay, second question. Two of the angles in a triangle are 50 degrees and 40 degrees. So we know that the three angles will add up to 180. So what we need to do is work out the size of the third angle. So we do 50 plus 40, that equals 90. And then we need to do 180 minus 90 to give us the size of the final angle. And that would be 90. So our triangle has three angles, 50 degrees, 40 degrees, and 90 degrees. Now, since one of the angles is 90 degrees, we know that it's a right-angled triangle. However, we can also see that each angle is a different size, 50, 40, 90. So in this case, it's a scalene right-angled triangle. So the answer to the question, what type of triangle is it? A scalene right-angled triangle. Okay, next question. Two of the angles in a triangle are 70 degrees and 40 degrees. So we know each of the three corners of a triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So 70 plus 40 equals 110. So 180 minus 110 gives us 70. So that's the size of the third angle, the third vertex. So our triangle has angles of 70 degrees, 40 degrees, and 70 degrees. And as you can see, two of the angles are the same size. They're of equal size. So again, this must be an isosceles triangle. Okay, next question. Two of the angles in a triangle are 70 degrees and 30 degrees. Which type of triangle is it? Now, again, we need to work out the size of the third angle. So we need to do 70 plus 30. That's easy enough. That's 100. So 180 minus 100 is 80. So that would be 80 degrees. Now we know the size of all three angles. We have 70 degrees, 30 degrees, and 80 degrees. And they are all different sizes. So this must be a scalene triangle. Next question. Two of the angles in a triangle are 60 degrees and 60 degrees. Well, we know that the three corners of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So it must be 60 degrees because 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. And these this triangle has three corners, three angles, all the same size. So if they're all the same size, it must be an equilateral triangle. Okay, for this triangle, two of the angles in a triangle are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. Now, we already know that this is going to be an isosceles triangle because two angles are the same size. But let's complete the calculation and work out the size of the third angle. So we know that 45 plus 45 equals 90. 180 minus 90 equals 90. So now we know the three angles of our triangle. They are 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. So we know 90 degrees is a right angle. So we have a right angle and two equal angles. So we could describe this triangle as a right angled isosceles triangle. Just a recap before we end. So a right angled triangle has one right angle of 90 degrees. The other two angles are always less than 90 degrees. So you can see on our green triangle here, the bottom left angle is a 90 degree angle and it looks like the corner from a square or a rectangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides, two equal angles, and that will always be an isosceles triangle if it has two equal angles. Our equilateral triangle, I think this is a really easy one to remember, all the angles, all the sides are equal. 
they will always be 60 degrees. Therefore, it's an equilateral triangle. And then finally, a scalene triangle is completely the opposite. All the sides are different, all the angles are different. So if you've got a triangle where each angle is a different size, it would be a scalene triangle. Now you can name your triangles. Thanks guys. Please remember to like and subscribe.